actually inspired you to do the, um, the magazine in the first place? Um, Mum Media uh, came to, to me and, and New Era, the, uh, the group that looked after me, just um, spoke about doing a magazine and then it evolved to being an online magazine, being much more cost effective. And um, lifestyle, not only sport, and it kind of went like that really. And obviously I know a few people here and there, they knew a few people, so we managed to kind of get it off the ground. And uh, fortunately enough, on the first issue we got some really good, good names and hopefully more fall into place after that. Yeah. What, was it, what was the particular area that you kind of wanted to get into? Was it primarily music? I mean, music has a, such a big influence in the magazine, doesn't it? Or I, I think it was a mixture. It? I think it was a, 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 I wanted to get the, the, the across the board, really. Music, obviously, is a, is a big thing that everybody's into. Films, obviously, what are people into as well, and sport. And all, you know, you've obviously got great access to footballers, and, and, and that's a major part of the, inter you, know, sort of the um, you know, the magazine and the interviews. Ronaldo obviously mm. done, but who would you dream of really interviewing? I'd love to get Scalzi in there, but I don't want to come too much of a Man United uh, magazine, but Scalzi doesn't speak to anyone, so I'd love to be able to get into, into Scalzi and speak to him, but um, I, don't think, ask him? I don't think that would be possible. Who's the best centre-off he's ever played with? <laughs> That's what I'd ask him. But, um, but no, um, I'd like to interview someone like Scalzi, people that, that no one really gets to get to really, and he, he's obviously one of them. Yeah, because he's a great player. He's one of the best players. He's probably one of the top t top two or three players I've ever played with. So, um, and I think a lot of people would tell you that who's played with him. Yeah, sure. Any other sort of world stars? I think I'd like to speak to, to someone like Messi or Kaka as well. Would be great. Yeah. I think. Um, I think it was only too right. I spoke to Ronnie first. I think he's the world player of the year, the European footballer of the year. So who else are you going to speak to first? And luckily, I, we had great access to him and. He went through a range of his skills and stuff like that. We could that we could look at. So I mean, he was he was only too willing to do it, as most of the lads are normally. Is there anyone that you sort of admired growing up that you'd like to get in the magazine? Michael Jackson. Right. Simple as <laughs> football that. Football-wise, really. Oh, football-wise, are oh, Maradona. Right. We've got a great page on him in this issue. Actually, um, it's like a bedroom with uh, posters on the walls and stuff like this. A very interactive page where you can go into and get videos and good links into seeing old footage of him uh, meet, and a few people talking about him. Uh, but I'd love to be able to interview him. He's my all-time favourite footballer. Mm. Ren the Ren Ronaldo, the Brazilian one as well, I'd love to interview. Yeah. Ronaldo's definitely my top three players ever. Really? Maradona, yeah, Maradona, Ronaldo, and I don't know who else yet. No, 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 sure. I'll have to wait and see. Messi, I suppose, is a contender already, isn't he? Uh, I don't know. know. At that not, age. Not, he's doing well, but when you look at the stuff that Maradona and Ronaldo, the Brazilian one, were doing, it's hard to compete with them too. Sure. Has Cristiano got that sort of potential to be? Yeah, I think yeah, the likes of Messi, there. Kaká, Cristiano have got the, the potential to be in that uh, upper echelon of player, but it's about doing it. I mean, you look at Maradona and Ronaldo, they've done it at consecutive World Cups. Mm. There's not many players have done that. No, sure. so. Asking a little bit about United and, and mm. Cristiano, if I, if I may. Sort of, yeah. He's really, you know, when, when you need your big players to step up, in the, mm. in, you know, as you have done perhaps in the last month or so when it's been difficult, mm. Cristiano has done that for you, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. I mean, he's a top player. I think people... Uh, trying to really compare last season, I think it's, you can't compare last season to, to, to this season for him because it was such a standout season for any midfielder at any time, at any era to get 40 odd goals in the season is just ridiculous. So to expect him to repeat that again is almost asking the impossible, but he's again gone and got over 20 goals. So to get over 20 goals as a midfielder is phenomenal. So, but people are judging him on last season saying he's not as good or he's not, he's at the top of the goal charts. Sure. So he's doing something right. Yeah. I read a fascinating interview recently with Darren, Darren Fletcher where he sort of said, you know, after winning the last trophy, I think everyone grouped together as a huddle and I think it was you that he pinpointed said, next year lads, we're going to be back here and that typifies the United spirit. I mean, obviously you've got the Champions League coming up and you want to, you want to do that as, as well. Is that the spirit that runs through the club? Yeah, but I think it filters down from the manager. He's won 20 odd trophies over the years. He's been here for how many years and still hungry to win everything. And that's the way it is with the players now. I think Flesh was right. I think after the final, I remember sitting down with a couple of lads and remember talking about this is a great feeling, lads. And not many players get to feel this feeling once. So if we can get here and do it twice, then we'll be a lucky bunch, but we'll be a good bunch. Sure. Well, is, it, is it, I mean, you've obviously got Arsenal, you, you faced Chelsea in last year's Champions League final. Is that, is that sort of more difficult? Is that, is that easier? Or obviously, Arsenal have done really well. well I think season. Arsenal are a great team and they're going to pose different problems to other teams that we've played, but it's a football match and we weren't there to win it simple as that. And we know that they've got some fantastic players. We saw them play the other day against them, put on a great show. Um, but they're beatable. And we know that on our, on our day we can beat anyone in the world and so we've got to be playing our A game.